it than at the big public land auction coming to a city near you. You bid, you win, you're a landowner. We were maybe 3000 less than what we expected right. to pay, so we're very happy. Very happy. Very happy. We got a great deal for a two and a half acres of land. Hundreds of parcels must be sold, from city lots to 10, 20, even 100-acre parcels. Now you can get clear titled land at auction prices. Call to register now to reserve your seat. It's free, and you get the complete auction catalog. You don't need to be a real estate expert to bid. This is my first time, and it was so easy. I love to work with them, and this is the first time I'm being here, but I'm planning to come back more and more and buy more properties. Check out the properties you like. Look at maps online and at the auction. Do your homework, then attend the auction and win. Great property. It was five acres, um, and I'm planning to do a lot with it, but I want to buy more properties now. That's why I'm here. Land auction buying power means no middleman, no real estate commissions, and it's an auction, so you set the price. I walked in, and it was super simple. You can get property 20%, 30% below retail value if you actually went there. Down payments as low as $100, and Land Auction has easy financing available right at the auction. Land Auction financing was no problem whatsoever, sailed right through the process. I'm not going to recommend Land Auction to anybody because then I'm going to give all the good deals away. Visit LandAuction.com to see our auction calendar. Get ready to reserve your seat and come to the public Land Auction right in your city. It's free. It's fun. It's like nothing else. LandAuction.com <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm your host, Eric Bird, here at Stop Circling Now. Dot com. And tonight, we got to talk about the American dream, ladies and gentlemen, the European dream, the South American dream, the Australian dream. It doesn't matter where you are. Everyone dreams to have a better life. Five steps to get yours before it's too late, ladies and gentlemen, is here tonight in the SSN Nation Wealthy Wednesday Night Live Stream. Stop struggling now. Lifestyle gear. Check. And please like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. Now, let's get to it. Right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you so much for being here. Please share the videos because you never know who's going to be out here who needs a little help, who may not be looking for the information. Also, make sure, even though I've already asked, please smash that like button so the YouTube gods know that we're in the house. Now, let's get down to it, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? Because once again, let me know if you saw the trailer. If you saw the trailer and received a notification, that would be great, but unfortunately, not all of you can be in the chat room. Why? Because tonight is Wednesday. That means members with the icon next to their name are the only ones that can be in the chat room tonight. So I want to just say, everybody else, if you want to get in the chat room, either become a member or wait till we have a live stream on Friday night at 9, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That would be greatly appreciated. We are going to talk about American dream and the American dream entails autonomy. What do I mean by autonomy? That means you have money of your own that you can tap into. That means you have a roof over your head. And if you own it or not, hey, I'm not one to say because one's a liability when you buy a home and you have no passive income coming in to pay for the home, that is a liability. But if you buy a home and you already have businesses that are making money and you use that profit to pay for your home, now all is good. So here, ladies and gentlemen, we talk about you buy assets that pay you. Creating wealth is very hard, 
especially when you're living paycheck to paycheck. It's very hard. So we're going to talk about this in a little bit more tonight. And we have solutions here, ladies and gentlemen. We just don't leave you out here swinging in the wind. We have solutions. And Victor Marrero, the first one in the house tonight, the soon-to-be retiree, the investor extraordinaire is here. Welcome to the Wealthy Wednesday Night live stream, where it's members only that can be in the chat room tonight. And I humbly appreciate that icon next to your name. And he says, hello, all the tagline. Let's do this. And that's what we do here, ladies and gentlemen. We try to get you to understand that you're out here working hard, trying to survive and how you can survive a little bit better. And Victor Morero leaves the other part. Yes, got the YouTube notification and saw the trailer. Thank you so much for that. I greatly appreciate it. Now, let's get into the first thing tonight because the American dream entails a lot of hard work. See, this is the thing that they don't tell you about the American dream. That American dream that's elusive to many, that means you have to put in work, a lot of work. And that doesn't mean that you're going to win. So for instance, I got to give you guys bad news. The guy that said he was going to fund it, if the money was supposed to come to yesterday, it did not come. We sit there and say, hey, man, where, where's the money? Sign the contract. So I thought I was going to be able to share the contract today. No money has been wired. No money came. Dude goes MIA. So again, you never know what's going to happen. Your best laid plans, ladies and gentlemen. Just when I thought I was coming out of retirement, the YouTube God said, you may be coming out of retirement, Eric, but the guys, they aren't funding like they used to. But anyhow, it does not matter because the show still must go on. Don't worry. We have new projects coming out. You guys know I have to always get, get aligned, try to be aligned with a project that's trying to do the right thing. Well, if you come to the Punta Cana Investors Forum, May 13th, 14th, and 15th, you will know about this project in person. You can see where they're going to be. But you can also come to the music festival. What am I talking about? The SSNLifestyle.com website. We have in soul, R&B, smooth jazz, Latin jazz, Latin and Dominican music. Festival is happening May 9th through the 12th. Get your tickets now. Get your airfare now. I highly suggest you get down here. If you want to come to the Punta Cana Investors Forum, you buy a ticket to the music festival. And for one dollar more, you get to the Investors Forum for free. So you want to stay for the additional three days, May 9th through the 12th. And then you hang out 13th, 14th, 15th at only a dollar. And you get to talk with attorneys, talk to lawyers about anything. That's what we're doing on the 13th. The 14th, we're going around so you can check the lay of the land. We're going to go driving around so you'll understand where you are, where some of the projects are, where people live, what is a desired location. That's what we're going to be doing on the 14th. The 15th, we still have more work to do, but that is a day that's going to change because we want the developers, we want the bank, we want the loan officers, we want the appraisers to come in and talk. So then you understand what you need to do to make sure you can close on your property or start your business. Either way, we are making it so you are able to get in. Get your tickets for either one, the music festival and pay $1 more or buy the Punta Cana Investors Forum ticket solo, which is now $249. Now that does not include a hell hotel and it does not include transportation on any of the tickets sold and the event, the event of the year has been changed again. Why? It's been raining every day. Every day. It's April. I think in May, it could easily rain every day in May. Well, a lot of days in May. So with that known factor, we had to move to a venue that's inside. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Ba two at the Caribbean Lake Park. It's going to be off the charts. And I'm going to have to show you a little bit of it right sooner or later. I was hoping I had some videos I could show you. And can you believe it? They have a real estate project at the Caribbean Lake Park 
that overlooks their beach or their lake. So now you can have a condo on the lake. How about 150,000 starting? How about 143,000 starting? Yeah, it's in the ballpark downtown. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about that, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be pretty cool. But first, as you see on the screen, we got a lot more to talk about because the American dream is going to entail that you buy real estate, that you rent out. No credit check, no qualifying, no barriers to entry because it's pre-construction. So anybody can get in. That's right. You heard me. Anybody. Nobody can stop you, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. We have Jaway J in the house. Welcome to the SSN Nation Wealthy Wednesday Night Live stream with that icon next to his name. Another investor is here. And he brings his tagline. Hello, SSN Nation. Received notification, saw the trailer, and he did the damn thing. He smashed that like button. So thank you so much for that. Much appreciated. And once again, another investor is in the house. And Victor Morell says, stock market on selling off spree. And we're on a buying spree as people run away. He's got it exactly right. This is stocks, ladies and gentlemen. You buy stocks when the stock market is going down. Why? Because your upside is one hell of a ride up. So I'm going to give you an example because we have people who don't invest and who say, oh, the stock is falling. You're supposed to dollar cost your average down if you previously bought the stock and believe in the stock. You should be buying. It's that simple. And if it continues to fall, you buy some more to make sure your dollar cost average goes down. So I'm going to give you a perfect example. Now, I better not use the one I was going to use. I'll just say, let's just use a perfect example where a stock starts at $100. And then for whatever reason, over the last six months, you still believe it's a great company. The stock price goes down to $60. And you bought at $100. You lost 40% of the value. But then you said, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy the same amount of shares, but at $60. And the difference between... 160 is $40, so the average is now $80 per share. Now, what happens if you buy more shares for $60 and your dollar cost average comes down? So let's just say you're smart enough to get your dollar cost average down to $75. And then you find out they came out with a new AI product. And all of a sudden, you go from 60, it goes up to 70, it goes up to $90, not back to 100, just $90. Well, your dollar cost average is now down to $75. You're going to be very happy if it goes to $90 because now you make $15 profit per share. You didn't have to get back to $100 where you would have just broken even, but if you just kept the 100, you would be negative $10 per share still because you didn't go on a buying spree when you were supposed to. That's how you get assets as long as you believe in the company. All right. So I'm just giving an example. So now you're ahead and that's what you need to consider. So here it is stock market on selling off spree and we're buying, we're on a buying spree as people run away. That's a step to create your American dream. There you go. It's a step. He's got it exactly right. The stock market is where 80, 9% of the top 10% of the wealthiest people on the planet, they own all the stock. So where should you be as an ordinary citizen? You know, I hope, stocks and dividend stocks. What are dividend stocks in case you're not here? While we're sleeping, or shall I say while you're sleeping, and you may not know about dividend stocks, these are stocks that once you buy them, every month they give you a dividend. They give you cash. And you didn't have to do anything but buy their stock. So shall I name a few? I like J-E-P-I, J-E-P-Q. If you like J.P. Morgan, they're one of those top Fed banks. So they only give you 9 to 10%. So be it. But if you like to stay safe, stay safe. If you want to do some high risk maneuvers where you can get 30%, 35% annual returns, well, then I suggest you go to yieldmaxetfs.com. Yieldmaxetfs.com, that's where you should go. Go check those out because you're going to see something crazy. C-O-N-Y, that's Coinbase backed with options trading. Again, 
any investment you need to go study so you understand what you're investing in. Just because you see 35%, well, maybe the stock price might come down 35%. But either way, if they continue to issue dividends at 35% annual return, I don't care if I put in $1,000 and somebody says you're going to get $350 back at the end by the time the year ends. And I'm reinvesting along the way. So the actual total yield is going to be over $350 because I bought more shares along the way thanks to my dividends. I just click the reinvest button. So instead of me only having the same amount of shares, I now have an extra 20, 30 shares. So that means I got probably $400 return. It's a good thing. So go check out Yield Max ETFs. They have several things that you can check out, several stocks that you can check out. So that's another thing. Now, before I forget, I know I have people here talking, but here, Victor Marrero, he starts lining up some ETFs. And oh, by the way, they're index funds and they're on sale now. And he's right. Look at this. He's got SPY. He's got VOO. We talk about this for the last five years. He knows I love VOO. QQQ. We talk about VTI, VOOG. That's a step. These are step. This is one step right here, buying these assets. You have to. If you want to be wealthy, you got to buy that and you have to buy businesses. We already know the second step. You must buy or be involved with businesses, not startups, even though startups give you a higher rate of return, but you want to actually put money into a business that is already generating revenue. So that way, you know, your investment gives you a return. That is the step you really want to take. Instead of going out here buying a car for a $7,500, $100,000, why aren't you buying a business for the same amount of money that gives you an annual return, even if it's $10,000 or $20,000 annual return? Why are you buying a car that gives you no return? That doesn't make much sense, does it? It won't shortly because when you're living crunched paycheck to paycheck and beyond, you will have no choice because you won't be able to buy a car. You won't even be able to buy assets. So think about all that when you think you're going to have to keep your car for the next 10 years. And you still will not have assets that's going to give you money while you're sleeping. You don't want to work for all your money. Let's call it what it is. That's the SSN Nation way. Brian Pay, welcome to the SSN Nation Wealthy Wednesday Night Live stream with that lovely icon next to your name, which I humbly appreciate. And Brian P. is one of those investors, ladies and gentlemen, that took the bulls by its horns. He said, I'm going out here getting me some dividends from Yield Max ETFs a year and a half ago. That means he is called in this YouTube street, Mr. Dividend. Why? Because we already know he just doesn't get $500. He doesn't get $1,000. He doesn't get $2,000. He doesn't get $3,000. He doesn't get $4,000 per month because he put in the work over a year and a half. He gets more than that. By dividends, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. You heard me. Can you believe he can go night night for the foreseeable few years and he's going to have a nice little 35, 45, 35 to 50 K coming in. And then if he reinvests it, part of it, five or 10 percent of it, it's going to keep rising. So think about it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the guy. He brings his tagline. Hello, Eric. I hope all is well with you. Yes, it is well. I'm in the DR. That's right. Working on the talent contest coming up this Sunday, I hope. And the event, the venue, like I said, Batu. In fact, you know what? I guess I should give a little promotion for Batu for the music festival. That's where it's going to be. And if you get a VIP, well, we had to change up a little bit because of this rain thing, but it doesn't change that much because we're gonna be in our own pavilion at the Caribbean Lake Park. If you're coming, get your swim trunks on standby as well. Get something that's gonna be nice because you can go water skiing in their man-made lake, but you're gonna to have to pay for that additionally, unfortunately. But they have a beach back there. They have pools, lounge area, because 12 to 2.30 is the concert. After that, you can be at the Caribbean Lake Park relaxing, eating, drinking, or talking to some people about real estate. How about that? Or other promotional sponsors that will be there for the next three or four hours or go and relax or go hang out and check out Dominican Republic. Then at 7 p.m. at night, you should be back 
because 7 p.m. to 10 p.m., it's going to be jam sessions with soul, R&B, smooth jazz, Latin jazz, Dominican music. And you know we got to have a set about a little Rastafari type music. If you're going to be on the islands, we got to throw a set in for that, right? So that's going to happen as well. And Brian P. says, smash that like button. He's right about that. That's what we do around here. If you love what we're talking about and you cannot get into the chat room, there's a reason why. Because on Wednesday night, members with the icon like Brian P. are the only ones that can be in the chat room. On Monday and Wednesday nights, anybody can be in the chat room. So either become a member and get in the chat room or you can wait till Friday and Monday and any other live stream and discuss it. I got the notification and saw the trailer. That's only two people this evening. But nonetheless, thank you so much. Hey, Eric, check out your email. Of course, he sent me more emails. Unfortunately, I cannot check out emails right now. And he says we are making money in here. You got that right. That's what we try to get you to understand. The American dream starts with you. You can't sit there and read books. And let that motivate you because while you're reading that book, it just costs more for you to buy your food, your water, pay your bills. It's one day at a time your bills are going up. You can't do a damn thing about it unless you said I'm off grid. All right. Otherwise, you're screwed. All right. Hey, boss. Vanessa Comagate is here. Welcome to the SSN Nation Wealthy Wednesday Night Live stream with that icon next to her name, which I humbly appreciate. And ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you, the seamless genius is here. You never know what she's going to come up with, but I do know she's trying to get that Disney contract. And let's see what she's got to say with the tagline. Hey, boss and SSN fam. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday to you. So let us know if there's any progress on that meeting. Oh, here it comes. She says, I got the big meeting tomorrow. That's right. We got another superstar here in the house, ladies and gentlemen. You don't know who's amongst you if you're new here. You got a lot of superstars here that you can ask questions in the chat room that you can talk to. You can go over to our WhatsApp group. That's right. Go to the WhatsApp group even though I don't really show that too often. Now I got to put it in the chat room for everybody. All right, here, let me go with this chat room for WhatsApp. Go over there, sign up, any member, go sign up, everybody. Show some love, anything you want to talk about. Let's see what we're going to say here. Yomax ETFs announces monthly distributions on ultra and fund of funds ETF 36.7 and 36.72. Oh, U-L-T-Y, 103%. Oh, my goodness. That's doubling your money. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Annually and then some. That's incredible. That's right. I'm a Dominican Republic, so I sometimes have to use excelente. You know, that kind of thing. Um, so you never know how things are going to go down. Fun ETFs. All right. Let's see what we got here. Disney has just been approved for a large expansion. Wait, where? In Anaheim? How? There's no land. It, it, they're blocked. Or are we talking about in Orlando where they're not blocked? This will be very, very interesting. You're going to have to let us know. And here's the WhatsApp, please. In the chat room, you can actually click on the link. Join us in there. You can discuss anything with a lot of people. I've been very busy. I am trying to do the incredible. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, even without the funding coming through. Now, I was going to tell you, I saw the contract on Monday, but I didn't want to talk about it. The contract that the guy sent over, I was like suspect because when the contract came through and they were like, oh, we're going to do a two year interest only. Now, it's a substantial amount, I have to admit, and it's 12 percent. So I don't know what happened. The guy did says I wired the stuff on Monday or should, no Tuesday, no Monday. So then on Tuesday, it was kind of like, OK, you know how wires work. Then you're like, OK, did not come. So what's going on now? The guy is M.I.A. And I'm like, OK, so uh, next up. So we'll get there. But unfortunately, I lost one of the parcels. Somebody bought it and it was from the bank. And this is how crazy it is. One point two million by the bank because it was foreclosure. 
it's actually now can be on the open market for 5.1. $40 a square meter from the bank, that same lot in the uh, area it's in is 170 per square meter. It's 30,000 square meters. It's worth 5.1. We had it locked, but the funding did not come. Band Reservists said, well, next up. We would have had that to use as a derivative. Yeah, I was coming. I was making things going to happen. That was going to be crazy. So there's the WhatsApp, ladies and gentlemen, just to let you guys know what we're dealing with here. Wow, that's crazy, Brian P. You ain't lying. That's crazy. No Anaheim. Their big meeting was today. I got the inside. She's saying not Anaheim. Okay. Brian P. Yes, sir. ULTY is paying 1.41 per share and it's $14.99 now. More than likely the price will go up tomorrow. Exactly. This is crazy. Yes. Here we go. New rides, restaurants, hotels, multi-billion expansion. What? Wow. Wow. I picked up 500 shares on Monday. See, this man is doing the dividend run. This is another one of the steps, ladies and gentlemen. It ain't just stocks. It's dividends as well. That's the second step that you have to implement. That's what you have to do. Yes, in Anaheim, boss. Thank you, Vanessa, for Brian P. Yes, in Anaheim. Okay, golly, where? I didn't think, are they, oh, they must be taking California Adventure down or something. I can't imagine where they're putting this. Where? They can't, I, I thought they were locked. Well, you never know. Disney was pretty smart. They did what you should do if you know you're going to be one of the biggest and baddest. You buy extra land. So I was out here buying extra. Okay, I'll just tell you guys right now. I have 4.5 acres that I have a deal with in the Dominican Republic where they're going to give me seven weeks. I don't know why seven weeks. Seven weeks, no payment, which is only a month and three weeks. Then my first rental payment comes in the seventh, eighth week, let's call it two months, eighth week. And then I make a payment for a year and all the money I put down as a monthly payment, they subtract and it's going to cost me $132,000, 132500 I got more for you, ladies and gentlemen. Even though the guy didn't fund it, no worries. I got something else coming. Victor Marrero says, damn, Brian P, that's $709 coming in this Friday for you just for ULTY. Congrats. That's an outstanding calculated risk. Exactly. He, uh, he's, he's, he's on it right now. This is what we talk about, ladies and gentlemen. Just one simple maneuver. The American dream is at your disposal. It's not that hard when you know what tools to use. So when somebody says, give me $5,000, give me $10,000, for a course, do you not realize you could be having $500 per month coming in? $500 per month. Some people say, Eric, it's only six Gs. Well, it's six Gs that you don't have to work for. But you want to buy courses. You want to go to some, some of this crap and go buy some of their crap. You want to put your money into a fund rise that gives you 5% return. You want to put your funds into other stuff that makes zero sense because inflation is way higher than 5%. I mean, I'm sorry. I have to scold a little bit because you're putting yourself in a detrimental situation. Your money's gone. Your bullets are gone that you can earn heavy amounts of returns, ROI, because you used it and now it's locked up. And now you're earning 5% below inflation. So even when you're able to grab the money back, it doesn't, it's not worth more. That's the problem. All right. So think about that, ladies and gentlemen, don't get caught up. Now let's get into it. What I was going to talk about earlier. This is the American dream, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Why a $100,000 income no longer buys the American dream in most places. You're damn right. I told you guys five years ago this was coming. You're going to need more than 100000 I specifically said this four years ago. People were probably going, uh, what's he talking about? Let me change the channel. Well, those who have not prepared the channel 
You changed the channel. You should have been paying attention out here. And you better be paying attention on this next one. Because if you think this is something, wait till five years from now. When you this is not even this is gonna be child's play when they say you can't live on a hundred thousand. It's gonna be two hundred thousand. That's right. You heard me, ladies and gentlemen. For all you who are in the uh, financial uh, electronics and financial industries, you're going to be make. you know, you guys make the six figures. It could be 150, 160, 170, 200,000. Five years from now, that won't be nothing. You're going to need more money than that to survive. That's right. I'll be here, God willing, four more years and I'll be saying it. I said it in 2023. I said it in 2024. As soon as they make this next race, when they reduce interest rates, whoever does not have assets in place, businesses in place, some way to make extra money besides them working for it, you are going to be in serious trouble. Your American dream is not going to happen. And there is no way around it. Why a $100,000 figure doesn't make it. More than half of 52% of Americans say they would need at least $100,000 a year to feel financially comfortable. 26% say they would need a salary in range of 100 to 149. That's a 2023 survey. But here's the thing. That's not all. Unfortunately, what has happened is that wages haven't kept up with the cost of living by and large. For the last 50 years or so. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, you're way, way behind. Consumers using the 50, 30, 20 budget guideline aim to spend 50% of their income on essential expenses. That's not going to work. This right here, I would not suggest doing this. That 50, 30, 20, you can forget that. You're going to need to switch this up. This, this thing right here is going to have to somehow go down to at least 40 you're going to have to increase this 20 for savings. It's going to have to increase to at least 30. So however you do it, you better do 30. And this discretionary spending, I don't know how you're going to do it, but that needs to come down to at least 20. Otherwise, you are going to be screwed big time. What do the wealthy do? They actually do 50% into savings if possible, and they actually do the reverse. They buy assets with the 50%. They are broke. Basically, not really broke. What I mean is cash poor. So they have most of the bulk of their money into the wealthy assets that give them a return. That's what you're really supposed to do. But most people live paycheck to paycheck. So they buy liabilities and they buy liabilities that make them feel good, look good, smell good, but they get no return on their money. So you want to be like the wealthy, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Just keep that in mind. Here it is, using that framework, Go Banking Rates found that all 50 states require more than $100,000 annual income. According to the report, with 38 states needing 140, it's already here, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, here it is, just like I was saying last year in 2023, I told everybody it's going to get worse. And it already is. 38 states, you need more than 140,000. It's already here in red, black and white. Do you think this is going to get easier? Hell no. I told you, four or five years, these numbers are going to be 200,000. This is going to be 200,000. I'm saying it. You hear it. It's happening. The same thing I said five years ago. It's coming true. Look at this 200,000 plus with the this New Jersey, Massachusetts. I I guess, Cali, Washington. Look at this. You want to live in Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, Oklahoma? Okay, congratulations. 109 to 140,000. Great. Great. Kentucky, West Virginia. This is almost like some places where people don't even want to live, really. That's why it's cheap. Then you go up to this, this purple, Texas, Florida, Georgia, where people all want to move to. North Carolina, Tennessee. Those spots, hot spots, you're next, 140 to 150. It's in black and white, ladies and gentlemen. What part are you not getting? You have to buy assets that pay you. You, are, you have no choice. I told everybody five years ago, four years ago about Europe. 
Europe has already went through this. 12 years, 12 to 15 years ago, this happened in Europe. This is why the rich people own the wealthiest parts of cities. Because people can't live in the city anymore. Only corporations can buy the land or the homes. That's what happened. It's crazy. We, it's already happened around the world. It's not, America's not going to be saved. You won't be saved. Student loan debt reached all time high at 177, 1.77 trillion. Of course it has. Credit cards have reached their all time. Oh, here we go now. Americans collectively owe 1.13 trillion on their credit cards. Another record. This is just getting ridiculous, ladies and gentlemen. This is getting ridiculous. You have no choice. If you have 65% of people living paycheck to paycheck, you know what they're going to do. They're going to grab their credit cards. I can pay the minimum. That's right. Keep paying the minimum for the next 20 years and pay like 10 times the amount. Do you want to do that? Hell no. But that's how they get you, ladies and gentlemen. They get you like that. They got you locked in. You got to go slave away at a job. Quick. Go. Let's see what else we got here, ladies and gentlemen. We get you set up right. You don't have to pay attention. You don't have to believe me. But time tells all. There's just no way around it. Time tells all. All right. Hey, Eric, you talk that real talk. Thank you so much. Because I need you guys to win. I need all of us to win. We can't win if you keep doing this nonsense that they have propagated to you on TV, on billboards, on everything, subliminal messages, ever since you were zero. As a kid, subliminal messages to go by liabilities. Oh, you're going to feel real good. Women, go get that makeup. Go get that hair. Go get all this done so you look good because there's a value in looking good. Right. And the women who think they don't look good or trying to look good, the women that look good are saying it's not good enough. They got you because you're out here spending hundreds of dollars for stuff when you're already naturally a human being. Guys are out here saying, hold on, I got to be cool to attract these beautiful women. Let me go get this cool car. Let me go get the cool house. Let me go buy some other liabilities like. Oh, yeah, watches, jewelry, whatever, nice shoes, whatever. Now, those are all liabilities. They got you. Twist it up. Values are liabilities over assets. That's the value that they got you twisted up, the majority of people. That's why people are out here giving money to millionaires and billionaires because, oh, we're going to feel good because we have a stadium coming with our own sports team. Let's give them for her $500 million so they can build a billion-dollar stadium and tax us for the next 20 years, and you sign up for this crap. Hell, we got people donating money to millionaires and billionaires. This is crazy. I got church pastors living in 5 million, 10 million, 15 million, 20 million dollar homes and people every Sunday is sitting there here. Let me give you some more money. This is what I'm talking about. Why are you guys out here doing this crazy nonsense? You need the money. Oh. Oh, my head hurts when I think about this. Seriously. What are you guys out here doing you think somehow that's going to help your ass it ain't helping you one iota i'm going to let you believe whatever religion you want to believe regarding that nonsense but when i got a guy roaming around in a 50 million dollar 80 million dollar 100 million dollar plane and lives in a 50 million dollar house 20 million dollar house and you're there every sunday or every thursday every friday every whatever giving these dudes money i'm trying to ask you what the hell are you doing I believe the man, okay, let's get into the religion thing. I believe the man did not say, give me money so I can feed you fish. Give me money so I can turn water into wine. It was no magic act. He said, 
follow my teachings. Yes, I'm special. If you believe this, and you out here giving a man who is not that guy money, like it's special, like that. What are you guys doing out here? You need the money. Come on now. All right, enough. I, enough. I'll stop right now because I know I'm going to piss some people off, but I, you know what it is. It's real out here in the field. All right. And it's only going to get harder. So you want to spend your money how you want to do it? It's your money. That's fine. But you can't be crying when somebody else is having a hard time. Somebody else is homeless. That may not be they're homeless out of their own not want to do anything. It's just that one day they woke up and their landlord said, you got to move. And then they did not have enough money to put down damn near $10,000 to move to another place because they're living paycheck to paycheck. You better get that empathy started, ladies and gentlemen. You better start helping your brothers, sisters, whoever, your family members, neighbors, because sooner or later, it's going to be a massive amount of people that will not be able to survive. So we need to help people out here. That's part of the SSN Nation way. I've been over here in the Dominican Republic listening to people give me this crap. Eric. You know, you know, Eric, if you want something done around here, you got to pay people. I'm like, pay people for what? They're like, well, you know, help. I'm like, dudes. I said, here's how this works. I said, either you want to help people out the kindness of your heart or you want money out of people. Take your pick. I said, me personally, I don't really care about the money part. But if you care about the money part, then go on about your business. Because I'm not going to give you money because you told me some dude over here has some speakers. I'm like, what are you talking about? Okay. Connection money? I'm like, what are you talking about over here? I said, you guys can do whatever you want. But I don't do it your way. I'll give an example. I had a meeting yesterday. And in the meeting, this guy says to me, because, uh, you know, the artists, they need transportation. So I had to meet with the transportation expert. And the artist, uh, the guy came and said, uh, okay, this is what I need. I need to know your budget. And then I'll be able to figure out with what you send me, how much it's going to cost. And we'll go from there. So I looked up at him and I said, that's not how I operate. I don't operate that way. Here's how I operate. I'm going to send you a list of what I need. And when I need you to pick up the artist from the airport and take them to the airport, pick them up from their hotel, pick them up from the airport, take them to the hotel and from the hotel to the venue and from the venue back after their sets. I'll tell you the schedule. Then you're going to compete with everybody else. And because you're going to give me a price. You think I'm just going to give you, oh, yeah, I'm going to spend $10,000 so then you can come back and go, yeah, yeah, Eric, here it is, $9,500? Meanwhile, somebody else is over here that might do it for five? No, I give you the information. Then you tell me how much you're going to charge me so I can go ask about a five other people. If you don't want to be part in the competition, then you can just leave now. Can I, I mean, what are we talking about here? You can leave now. I'll find somebody else that wants the business. But don't tell me to give you my budget so then you can figure out how much I'm spending. No, you tell me and I'll pay it. If I don't want to agree to pay it, then we you don't have to worry about it. Man, this is what's happening out here. But I understand because this country is based on a lot of people who don't. There's, there's way more than 60 percent percent of the population that does that lives paycheck to paycheck it's a hot, way higher number 80 percent of the population earns a little bit of money less than twenty four thousand dollars annually so of course they need money any which way they can because the cost of living here is on like the united states time like people are paying twelve hundred fourteen hundred fifteen hundred dollars to stay monthly now in certain parts of Punakana. So don't think it's going to be limited to America. It's happening all over the world, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So enough with my motivational speech. And some would say, man, this dude's talking an awful lot of noise. 
No, ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking noise so you understand what's out here. This is not something that you should be holding your brain saying, hey, you know what? I think I'm going to buy liabilities. I don't think that, that that's not a good thing. I'm telling you right now. All right. Let's see here. I left that up. Thank you. The real talk. That's right. Like I said, it's the real out here in the field. Some of us are out here slaying dragons. We out here trying to make some things happen. We are making some things happen. Brian P, which ETF is next for you? NVDY, FEPI, FBY, AMDY, YBTC. Well, that's one I got. MSTY, that's also what I got. We're all paying over $1.10 per share. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Every month, $1.10 per share. So if you had 1,000 shares, yeah, it might cost you $20,000. But I don't think you're going to mind getting $1,000 every month. Right? Come on. 14,000, I mean, 12,000 annually for a $20,000 investment. I think you might want to say, yes, I'll do that. If you had 20,000 that you can uh, put into some shares, that would be a good thing. FBY is next. Look at this. This is knowledge, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you get to the five step to get yours before it's too late. FEPY, because if something costs you 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars, 10 dollars a share, Hey, and they're going to give you a return like 20, 30, 40 percent. You might want to consider it. Brian P. Good choice. Life of the fund has returned over 40 percent. Good God. Currently paying one point one seven zero five. You're on the way to be part of the fire movement. He's on his way. He is already there. In my opinion, he doesn't have to buy one iota of another dividend stock. Joe Nays in the house. Another investor graced the stage tonight with that icon next to his name, which I humbly appreciate. And by the way, if anybody's watching in the Dominican Republic, there's going to be on Sunday afternoon, if you play music, if you think you're a superstar, if you want to see the Punta Cana Got Talent, then I suggest you stay tuned to this channel. I believe we're going to be at Batu in the afternoon, but it's not for sure because I forgot today to ask him in our meeting. But I'm hoping we can have it there inside on stage so you can actually participate in the SSN Lifestyle Music Festival. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. And you guys here might, I hope I can actually figure out a way so you guys can vote, be part of the process. All right, if you're not coming, maybe you can see some of the acts do one song or two songs and see if they're worthy to be part of the SSN Lifestyle because we're not doing this one year. We're trying to do it two years in a row, SSN. In lifestyle music festival and we're always going to have the punta cana investors form the same week and we're always going to have two weeks so it's may 9th through the 12th for music go over to ssnlifestyle.com to get your tickets now vip tickets are special we've had to change some things up it's okay not really change things up you still sit up front you're still going to have your private vip party we're just not going to have the special chef because at ba two it's a venue so the chef there is preparing two different choices because the VIP party, you're going to have a cool menu. So you're going to have two choices. It's already paid when you buy your VIP tickets. So that's what's going to happen. But everything else stays the same. Jam session, your own private jam session. You're also going to have your own dinner. You're also going to have a meet and greet with some of the artists. VIPs only. What can I tell you? All right. And of course, VIP seating throughout the event. Go get those VIP. And in fact, if you get VIP tickets, you get a hotel included, which would be pretty awesome as well. I'm just saying. And if you just want general admission tickets, no problem. You can be in general admission territory. Get your tickets today. SSNLifestyle.com. Now, let's go back here for Joe Ney, a real estate investor. Wars good, SSN Nation. What's good, SSN Nation? I got notification to smash that like button. That's four people tonight. I thank you so much. Everybody, if you can't get in the chat room, there's a reason. Only members with the icon can be in the chat room on Wednesday nights. Every other night, no problem. All right? But Wednesday on live streams, it's for the guys with the icon. I'm trying to retire early. I think you're going to get there, but not on 5K. A month, you're going to need more. All right, Roth. I like the Roth. 
I like the Ira Roth. That's what you should be doing. Brian P., you'll be sooner than you think. Watch out for the taxes. Yeah, an option will be to increase your current employer deductions. Yeah, that would be that's very good advice. Very good advice. If you still have a job and you're doing investing, you should do what he said. Um, very good point. I will. Exactly. Vanessa Comagate is saying facts. George's Charles, another superstar investor is here. What do I mean by superstar investor? Well, let's just put it this way. Anybody can buy and invest in one business. But two businesses, three businesses, four businesses or more. Oh, my God, ladies and gentlemen, you set yourself up with at least three or four or more business centers where you have revenue from three, four, five, six different sources. That puts you in the rarefied air. That means you're going to have money coming in while you sleep. Welcome, George's Charles, to the SSN Nation Wealthy Wednesday Night Live it's live stream with that icon next to your name. And he says his tagline and starts it off. Hey, all. Hey to you, man. And he says, I smell money up in here, ladies and gentlemen. That's exactly right. George's Charles is setting it off as well. He ain't out here letting people you know, he ain't out here buying liabilities like that. He's buying assets like that. And Vanessa Comagate, I give directly to people in need, not rich pastors. Exactly, Vanessa Comagate. That's what I'm talking about as well. That don't happen. It's crazy. Keep it going, Eric Brian P. Yep, exactly. Thank you so much for that. The Bible doesn't tell us to do that Jesus said, give to the poor. Exactly what I'm saying. Exactly. Amen. Can we raise the roof up? That's what I'm talking about. I believe that's what he says. Let me, I hear you. Can we do it again? The Bible doesn't tell us to do that. Jesus said, give to the poor. Now, I'll just let that marinate for a second. But see, you get no love when you just do the poor thing, right? You don't get to feel good because you get to put your hand in the till and show everybody you put money in. Because now you feel good. Oh, man, I contributed this month. I gave my money. Meanwhile, the poor over there that the Bible said, oh, I won't even get into it. I won't even get into it. I won't even get into it no more. But Vanessa Comagate, very well said. That's why we out here SSN Nation style, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my, my, my. Wait a minute. I got something to tell you guys. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait. I, I needed the floor plan. I need a floor plan. I mentioned it on Monday. I'm going to tell you guys something right now. This is about to go. This is about to go sideways, big time sideways. And I mean sideways in a good way. It's going to be off the charts. Yeah, let's see. Unfortunately, the pool party on Sundays, it would not be possible to do this into Howard. I'll double check back tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, hold on. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Okay. All right, now, now I got a problem. But uh, it's okay. Let's see what else is happening here. All right. So there we go. We're doing some. Okay. E. White. Oh, my God. Another superstar investors in the house. Y'all may know him from the Punta Cana Investors Forum, November 2023. George Charles, who's also in the house. You might know him from the Punta Cana Investors Forum in 2023, one of the four, four horsemen and a real estate investor. Welcome to the SSN Nation Wealthy Wednesday Night live stream with the icon next to your name. And I greatly appreciate it. And by the way, I left a book somewhere that I wanted. Damn it. 
Damn it, I was carrying them all day and I left it somewhere. But E. White, no worries. The superstar investor is here. No person can maximize the American dream on the minimum wage. Very well said. The trickle down theory and all that nonsense, it ain't trickling down, ladies and gentlemen, because they keep it and buy yachts and planes and trains and high end automobiles. They're not letting that crap trickle down to you. Everybody likes to feel good and show off versus helping your fellow man. All right. Very well said, E. White. Another superstar investor, ladies and gentlemen. Not one, not two, not three, not four business centers. The man has way more than that. So he's out here saying, let me get my assets now, because later on, those assets are going to be double the price, a lot harder to attain. And that's what we talk about. That's a cool idea. Have judges. Exactly. We're going to try it. I don't know. It's going to be off the cuff, but they just told me that it can't be at Batu. Because they're saying there's a pool party on Sunday. But you know what? I was there on Sunday. And so I just told him, I said, I, I, don't, I don't think there's no pool party on Sunday, man. I don't know where you're getting this, this, this uh, information. I could have sworn I was there on Sunday. Let me see something here. Oh, man, do I have to? I'm, I'm going to pull this up. I could have sworn. Okay, today. Let's see. Yesterday. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I, I did some staking. You know why? April 15th. Wait, what was that? April? No, 14th. I did some staking out. See, I always check venues, whoever I have to negotiate with. Let's see if I was over there on Sunday. No, I don't think. I know I was there, though. In fact, hold on. Let me, I'm going to show you guys. Uh, let's see here. Here's a little preview. I'll give you guys a preview what it looks like inside. This is at uh, the entrance. That's the entrance, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, there's a bar in the middle of the floor. You can see in the back that there's a stage. It's a, it's black and it's about two feet high. Yep, that's where it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is where it's going to be going down, the music festival. So therefore, if it rains, the party won't stop. It's going to be off the hook. And by the way, if you else you want to hang out there, there's other stuff too. Other things are out there. So since we have two of the four horsemen in the house, I'm actually going to play a video. You guys know the one intro video. Oh, we had a little. No, I can't play that intro video. I'm sorry, because it actually promotes something that I'm not promoting anymore um, or going to be talking about until we get things straight. So anyhow, I'm going to be promoting something else. And I still don't know why. Let me see if I got it. Uh, okay. Oh, I got it. Well, this is, I think I got it. Um, okay. That's not anything. Where's the, did they not send me any? Come on now. This is a bummer. It went to my junk mail. This is not good. This is really, really not good because I'm supposed to have some promos. I'm supposed to have some promos uh, that I wanted to show you. And unfortunately, I can't show you. Hold on a second, ladies and gentlemen. I need to look at something. in the background. I'm going to actually play a video. I'm going to play a video. Then we'll come right back. In fact, I'll go show throw down with Sean Rayford. His band's going to be there the second week, but he's a solo artist for smooth jazz as well. So either way, it's going down. All right. Uh, SSN Lifestyle Music Festival. Go over to SSNLifestyle.com. All right.
interesting. Very, very interesting, ladies and gentlemen. I can't find it. It's disgusting. I don't understand it. Um, my, it, it's putting things in. Oh, that's how it goes. Can't win them all. All right. We got a few steps in, three steps. We still need some more steps. We talked about getting your businesses. We talked about getting dividends. We talked about getting assets. We talk about preparing your own lane. What do I mean by that? Everybody does not have the same skill set. So therefore, you have to learn to improve your income. So some of you may be working a job. You may not be good. You don't know what you can do. What do you want to do? You have to start learning now. It might take you five months. It might take you six. It might take you one year. But your education about what you want to do to make money is important. So sometimes you have to take time to learn. So just keep that in mind. All right. That's another step that you're going to have to take. It's a never ending learning session. No matter what you do, nothing stays constant. Just because you're able to buy these dividend stocks and get maybe 20% or 15% or 35% or 40% return does not mean two years from now, you'll be able to get that same percentage of return. So you have to be prepared to pivot. And that's the learning curve because you get complacent when you don't have to. So just keep that in mind, all right? Now, you saw... Sean Rayford and band, they will be there two weeks. Sean Rayford's going to be there the first weekend. The band or more bandmates are coming the second weekend. Their show is going to be over an hour by themselves. Club Nouveau show going to be one hour by themselves. Oh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this isn't none of that play five songs. It's over. None of that's happening because you know how it goes. You play their uh, few hit songs that people may know. And then the next thing you know, those were five to seven minutes because, you know, the band gets to riff a little bit. The drummer gets to do some stuff, you know. Um, and the next thing you know, seven minutes into 45 minute sets. Next thing you know, you're like, they played six songs and they're gone. Not going to happen in my watch. All right. This is a festival. This is a music event. And we're coming back again next year. All right. Just keep this all in mind. It's going to be off the charts. So go get your tickets right now. And I highly suggest, I, I even though the VIP does cost more, but again, whether you come on the 9th or you come on the 16th and you have VIPs, you're going to have a cool time. Two hours. Oh, I got to add this. I, I haven't, people don't even know because this act just came up today. If you have VIP tickets, your first two hours of the VIP party on Thursday, you get national drinks, unlimited national drinks. What that means is, well, we're outside of the United States. So national drinks usually means uh, house liquor is what they're going to use. Well, house liquor in the DR is different than house liquor in America. I'm just saying. So but anyhow, that's what you got. Two hours. The first two hours you have dinner. You have dr unlimited drinks for the first two hours. No additional cost because you're already a VIP. All right. So if that's going to be added as well. And then VIP has their own jam session as well with the artists. And they get to mingle with the artists as well. So that is part of the VIP experience, ladies and gentlemen. And you have your own special menu that you're going to choose. So you know what you're going to be getting when you come. That's right. Own special menu. Of course we have to, right? Because um, some people like certain things. So there's two different separate menus. So you pick from those. Just letting you know. All right. Just letting you know. All right. Let's see. Let's go. Let's see what we got here. I'm missing something on the screen. But uh, what are we doing? This festival is going to be nice. A little jazz, Latin. Very cool. That's right. R&B and soul. You got to do it. And they don't have that here in the DR. You know what's crazy? So the venue has, they have, they've had events there, but you know, it's like uh, 
DJs and speaking where you have real estate events and people get on stage and speak. I went over to check out the equipment today because I'm trying to get them to include the equipment because they're trying to rent it. And I'm like, are you serious right now? You're going to try and rent me the equipment? Seriously? So anyhow, I said, I got to go in and check out the equipment. I start looking at the equipment. I'm like, is it is this stuff like 20 years? What is this? Analog 2010 equipment? I said, this can be used for like talking, but if you got six or seven instruments on stage and the singers, we can't use any of this. So what I did was I said, okay, I'm really not in the music business like that. Let me send over, uh, I took pictures of the, you know, this mixing boards and, and, and other stuff. And so I sent them over to the musical director and he's like, is this for real? He said the same thing I said, is this for real? What, where is this? I said, oh man, I, lucky I came over here because they have all this stuff, but you could see from the pictures. It's like, it's like, is this a joke? I was like, no, no, it's no joke. This is, this is what was in the pictures. In fact, I'll show you guys how bad this is. This is, this is what we're dealing with here. In the DR, I guess they have to use some sort of remanufacturing from 1930s or something. I don't know what the hell it is, man. It's crazy. Okay, that's not a good picture. But you get the idea. This is what we're dealing with here. Look at this. Look at this. This is this is what we're dealing with here. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven tracks. I mean, this is this is insane. Look at this. Look at this equipment. This is in a venue that they charge people five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars. I was like, well, look at this. This is craziness. This is this is really, really crazy. I couldn't believe what I was looking at. In 2024. This is insane. Look at this. This is crazy. I sent that to them and they're just like, wait, what? Well, no, we, we can't use none of this crap. And some of the dudes I sent it to that are DJs, of course, they're like, what's wrong with it? I'm like, what do you mean what's wrong with it? I was like, this is all analog. I was like, this, that's for starters. I was like, that's just for starters. So anyhow, the guys in uh, the guys, the musical directors were just like, uh, no, no, no. They realize we're bringing bands, right? I said, exactly. They generally just speak, talk, DJs. They can get away with it. But that, no, can't use it. So that's crazy. That's crazy. All right. Hey, Eric, need an update. Brian P, an update on... Are we talking about that business adventure, that startup that we're doing? I do not have an update, unfortunately. I've been here 10 days, 12 days, and I've been busting my ass trying to create something that is extraordinaire. People are already, I've already upset people. I told you guys on Monday. I told you guys on Monday, I'm over here trying to create an empire. So how do you create empires? One block at a time, because if you're gonna be in the real estate business, and you're going to be building, you want your blocks to be cheap, right? So what's the cheapest way to have your blocks? You build them, right? So I have the land. I told you guys, $132,000. Actually, the real number is $132,500. I entered into an agreement that I'm renting the land for one year, seven weeks before my first pay which is interesting number they use, but I said, whatever. And the uh, money that I put down for rent will be subtracted from the 132,500. How good is that? Pretty damn good. So 4.5 acres is the first thing. The second thing, since we're talking business, we're going to talk business. I got to do something tonight because on Monday, Money Making Monday, I did not talk about it because I didn't want to uh, show people until I, and I haven't been able to make a decision on this other than I'm going to make a decision. It's it's going down. Let me uh, show you guys something. I need to get this video and then I'll uh, be able to show you, I think, 
I don't know if that, no, nope, that's not the video. Um, let me get a video up and then I can uh, show you guys something. It's on YouTube, quite frankly, so anybody can see it. But I got to find the video. This has to do with the 50 square meter uh, one bedroom villa and its panels. So here we go. It's panels. I think this is something. These are pretty cool. Let me see if I can pull this up. And uh, I'm going to M-O-D-N-T-A-J-E, Casa, Prefabrica. This is just a preview. All right. So when I show this, this is, this is just a little preview. Seven years ago. All right. And once I get this up, Te gustaría aprender a importar tus productos. So, okay. So I had it on screen already. Damn it. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, if I get, uh, if I get, get uh, cut off, there may be a reason. All right, here we go. No reason. Oh, she's, this is not, oh, it is 720. That's interesting. All right, let me get back. I got to get it back up. Here we go. Uh, there we go. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let's see where we're at. Okay, skip. Here you go, ladies and gentlemen. Check this out. <laughs> Prefab modules. Yeah, this has been on my radar for like 30 years, 20, 25, 30 years. It's always been uh, not cost effective. You can build a real house for the same price back in the day. So this is something that they're doing in Puerto Rico. Well, now this is what we're going to be doing. So all I can tell you is that is part of why I decided to be in the block business. And not only that. The guy that's going to make the 50 or 50 square meter one bedroom villa, because that's what it is, Casita. He's going to make a model for me. You know what that means? That means that we have pre construction sales. That also means we can put it anywhere. And it's a real home made of brick with Stan Hurricanes. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. And if I tell you some prices like $40,000, $35,000, you are going to be like, excuse me? That's going to be the prices, ladies and gentlemen. How about if I told you $29,000? Dominican Republic people can even afford this casita that's a one-bedroom made of bricks. With the brick foundation, that's going to be three floors high. So you're going to step into it, actually. How about that? Everybody can afford it. And now you could have one bedroom cottages that are almost the size of a one bedroom apartment. They are because it's 50 square meters. And oh, yes, we can build two bedrooms. We can build three bedrooms. We can build two story high. It's going down. Talk about takeover 2024. Yeah, the funding didn't come through for one thing, but that's because SSN Nation always have contingency plans. We still going to make the money. And oh, by the way, I do have something to say. Let me see if I can find this. I don't think it's out yet because it's first phase. I will be signing an agreement that my SRL in the DR is going to have a broker's agreement to sell a project. That means real estate agents in the DR, can you hear me? That's right. You can come work for me. That's all I'm going to say. You can come work for me now on this project 
I'm not a master broker, but I now can sell a project. Now, I thought I may have the information. Oh, in fact, hold on. I do have something. Let me see if I can find it. I just realized there's something I have. There is something I have. Where is the damn thing? Come on. Where is the damn thing? Oh, my God. I It was under my... Wait, when were we over there? It was three. It was after three. It's not here. It's just not here. I needed this link, and that link is gone. And I don't know where it went. I needed this link today. It went to my junk folder. I clicked on not junk, and it's gone. Damn it. What a bummer. I can't find it. So what I'm going to have to do is, because I wanted to show you guys what it, in fact, hold on, let me go. I'll just pull up something on YouTube. I think it'll be on there. I'm pretty sure somebody, um, I think it's that. I think it's that. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, I think this is it. Yeah, I think this is it. No, there's, it has the same name. This is a, pro, oh, oh, wait, hold on. No, that's what it is. That is what it is. I'm pretty sure this is what it is. Nope, that's not it. God dog it, I left my book. I left my book. I left my book after carrying it around everywhere. And I left my book. Golly, I can't even show this. I wanted to show this tonight because you guys are going to have the opportunity because I don't even know what the prices were. It's just terrible. Just terrible. I don't know what the prices were. It was like 140, I think, 150. Downtown, Punta Cana, by Central Park, by Palace Suites. On on the premises of Caribbean Park. views because you sit on the lake. You sit on the lake. So that's why this irritates me. I lost it. I lost it, ladies and gentlemen. That email is gone. Sheesh. It's disappeared. Ah. Uh, and actually, it was contracts in there that I had to sign. Um, that's what makes it even worse. So I don't know where it disappeared to, but it's gone. Uh, let's see. Drafts not there. Junk mail. Man, this drives me crazy. All right. Well, all I can tell you is I, I okay, I'll go to something else. Hold on. I know the name of the other one. Oasis Bay. Over there with Victor Marrero. That's right. Over by Kana Bay. Uh-oh. I think I found it. I did. It's Oasis Bay. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I think this is the one I want, though. I found something. The one by Caribbean Lake Park is the one I want. So let's see. 172 apartments. Is this the one? Nope, this isn't the one. But I'll give you a little preview nonetheless. This is the one that's going to be out by Victor Marrero. All right, so I'll show that one. All right. <laughs> uh, uh, you told them I won no school, so they took it seriously with the equipment. Brian P. Uh, Friday. I've had no time to go talk with Oscar about anything, quite frankly, because I've been laying, slaying dragons, making deals, trying to get the event happening. 
because of the event changes. And we only have three weeks to the first event, a month to the second. But here you go, ladies and gentlemen. You see on the screen, this is out by Kana Bay next to Kana Rock. It's called Oasis Bay. Oh, yes, I wish I had that. Golly, that pisses me off that I don't have it. But it's okay. Here you go. Now, brokers and all that, Oasis Bay. Oh, why aren't we in English mode? What's happening here? Always translate Spanish. Yeah, what, what's happening? Why aren't we translated? Here we go. It's over by Kana Bay, 172 luxury apartments. I suggest you contact me. That's right. Go into the group right now on WhatsApp. If you don't know what that is, what the link is, and you want to find out about this, we are now SS in Lifestyle SRL. Well, not yet. I haven't signed the contract. As soon as I sign the contract, which I hope I can find that email, I will be an official broker tomorrow. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It's going down. Part of the SSN Nation takeover. So now I'm in the play. Now, let's see here um, real quick. Let me find the WhatsApp. Please sign up. Hit me up in the WhatsApp group. Privately, you can hit me up as well. But, you know, if you want to hit me up, then I'll give you my privately. Um, that's fine. Wow. No way. Yes. Way $29,000 for a 50 square meter villa concrete put together as blocks. Yes. Prefab, no less. You're damn right. And Victor Marrero is absolutely correct. They built them in the, uh, Puerto Rico first. Yes. I saw those houses in Puerto Rico. The company there ships them to the DR and the United States. If I had land in Tennessee, I'd go for something like that. You can change the configuration. Exactly. It doesn't have to be that. You can do 20 by 30, 20 by 40, 20 by 50, two stories, one story. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's going down. And on those 4.5 acres, guess what? Two manufacturing facilities. Oh, it's SS Nation takeover. It's going down. We're going to be building them in the Dominican Republic, Victor Marrero. That's right. You got that right. And oh my, we got things happening. But he's right. There you go. It's beautiful. There you go. That's the addresses. Contact the WhatsApp. There it is in the chat room. Okay, there it is. Congrats. It's about time you get that broker money. Hey, hey, that's right. I told y'all I have to do takeover. I can't just be like sharing other people's stuff. Maybe I get kibble and bit. Maybe I get some love. Oh, no, it's takeover now. Why would I have kibbles and bits when I can get the whole enchilada? Playtime's over. I gave people opportunities. They don't want to give me any love. Don't want to send me any checks. Don't want to do anything. Out the kindness of my heart, helping you guys invest in the right projects or attempting to. Now, we got Oasis Bay in the background. Here we go. This is out at Kana Rock. Well, actually, it's not. They have land next to Kana Rock. This is their own land that they're building this on. How crazy is that? Is this cool or what? And, oh, it's going to be a little upscale, ladies and gentlemen. So what's some of the community, uh, uh, you know, amenities? Of course, a gym, a sports facility, children's pool, private pools, spa, bicycle, rooftop bar, sauna, barbecue, co-working area, amenities, private pool, 1.5 restaurant. About, okay, here we go. Check it out. Let's get to it, ladies and gentlemen. You know how we got to show you something. We got to show something out here. We can't leave you hanging like, let's see a video, shall we? Let's see one of these videos. I want to see one of these videos. Let's go. Let's see what the video looks like. Let's get on some of this. Let's go. If you don't. If you don't see a video,
course. Okay, that that's cute. Okay, those of you who know Connor Rock, then you know what this is. Yeah, they're promoting the golf course area. We don't care about any golf course area. Hey, Joe Levy's there, number one in the UK. He's coming the second weekend in Punta Cana Music Festival. He's coming. Oh, that's why. It was the golf amenities that showed up. Okay. Here you go, ladies and gentlemen. Type one. Oh, that ain't good. That's not good enough. Not one. That's not good enough. Anyhow, this looks like a, well, studio unit. I haven't even looked at the brochure yet, ladies. Oh, oh this is the one I'm talking about right here. Oasis Lake. This is going to be at Caribbean Lake Park on their lake, condos that overlook the lake. Now you're within their project, which has, well, let's call it, you got your own little Caribbean Lake. You have Maroka, the nightclub there. You're going to have the boogie boards. You're going to have another section of this. You have the pools. You have Batu, which has a restaurant. And I suggested when I talked to them today, I go, hey, man, you need to add a mini mart so people can go somewhere. Because if you're downtown, there's no mini mart, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody's building a mini mart. So if you're at Palace Suites, Casa, uh, Central Park, the beach, there is no mini mart or store downtown until you get to Jumbo. Now, Jumbo is up the street. This is true. But here's the thing. You're sitting at your house like right now and you said, hey, you know what? I need to get a little snack or little drinks or something like that. So let me go to the store. Do you really want to drive like a mile or two? Depending on where your property is in downtown. I mean, seriously. There's nothing. So anybody at Casa, Central Park, Palace Suites, the beach. If you put it right there on the corner where Central Park Plaza is, you would have everybody from all those complexes coming to the grocery store or mini mart because you can't get in. There's nothing. Talk about business opportunity. Good God almighty. So anyhow, I was up with the directors, the CMO, and I said, hey, man, I, I, I would su seriously suggest you put in a mini mart because you guys have a restaurant. And that's another thing. If you live in any of those I mentioned, those projects I mentioned, and you don't have a, a, a restaurant or cafe or something, then again, you have to walk all the way up or drive up to Coco Bongo area to the first restaurants. I'm just like, this is crazy. A restaurant anywhere near those places, that's where you're going to have customers. I mean, it's insane. That's why Batu doesn't really have customers because everybody thinks it's a water park only. They actually have a restaurant in there, but their restaurant in there is not really cheap. You're going to be spending 10, 12, $15 for an entree. So that's not cheap. It's kind of like, you know, and if it's any of the real entrees, it's 15 to $20, 990 pesos, 850 pesos. So uh, 590 or 580 pesos is $10. So when you start getting up to another 500 pesos, you're up at 17, 18 dollars. So, again, that's not like cheap. So all I can say is this is the thing. So here are some of their projects. Oh, yeah. And don't forget about the one million dollar villas. That's right. You all want to be big time. Well, guess what? You get to be in those big time villas. Uh, and by the way, the condos that we're going to be talking about, well, I won't get into that right now, but here we are Oasis Bay boutique. This is different in itself that we'll get into. Here's Oasis Lake. I just love the design. That's all. Um, and it's on the lake and Oasis Bay, but on the up, I'll call it the A side. 
All right. We'll call it the A side. If you're going to be interested in any of these projects, quite frankly, these are, eh, I mean, call the pricing is about right right now. But once they finish, the pricing is going to be up. All right. They have comfort tour, or I shouldn't say that. They applied for comfort tour. They should get it. And it's going to probably take five to nine months to get approved. But they should get it. Should not be a problem. All right. So just keep that in mind. Uh, yes, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. Getting gangster with it. Hey, seamless genius. You know, skill sets are there. We just been dormant for a long time. So I said, why not? I'm coming out of retirement. Whether the guys fund my project or not, well, it's almost too late. The funding's been three, four months. Two, three people have said they do it. One guy said, you get the other part. I'll give you the 1.3, 1.2, whatever I have. But I don't have the six or the five or the four. So a couple people said they're going to do it. When the time came to send the checks, no checks coming. No wire came. This is the second or third time that people have said, and this guy signed the contract and then said he sent the wire and then wire did not, you know, it's like send the receipt like we always do. I mean, if I wire somebody money, I send the receipt. So I said, where's the receipt at? And the guy says, OK, I'll send it to you. And then that was, you know, two nights ago. And then uh, yesterday it was like, OK, it's a wire. So either it came same day or the next day. And then now he doesn't answer his phone. Crazy stuff. Crazy, crazy stuff. I don't even know why I do wasted time. Is that on the same side of the road as Connor Rock? That looks like the golf course next to Connor Rock. Are you my neighbor now? Exactly, Victor Marrero. It's a neighbor in, the, in that lot that's vacant. That's where the Oasis Bay is going to be. Next door. It's not part of Connor Rock. Just to say how it is. But yeah. And uh, I don't really know the prices because I was going to pull them up tonight, but I cannot find my email now that I actually was in junk mail and I was getting ready to pull it up. And now I can't. This is crazy. This is this is annoying, quite frankly. And I have to sign something. That's what even makes it worse. I thought I took it out of junk and it's not there. So this is bad. This is bad. This is real, real bad. I don't know what happened. So maybe, hold on, let me see if it went to delete section. I don't think so. No, it's not here. Not here. Not here at all. Not here. This pisses me. No, that's not it either. She's disappeared. Wow. This is not good. I can't even sign the broker agreement. This is crazy. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, stranger things have happened. I will have to say that. But yes, Victor Marrero, you are you have checked it out. This is actually the way it goes. So it's Vivantia, Vivantia Homes. All right. There's more to the story. Way more to the story. These guys are actually bringing some heat. I wish they would show this. This is not cool. Why don't you click on it? That's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right. That's all I can. Wait. Whoa. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, 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 oh. I can't show you none of these, but they're on their website. Vivantia. I, it's actually Vivantia. They don't use the sh like it's Vivantia, which is very, very interesting how they spell that. But anyhow. There's villas also, but they're a million dollars. I'm just saying. So we'll be talking about this much more on Friday. And I'm your friendly guy that can actually, you know, when you're going to be sending in the, the, um, the, uh, what to call separation, the down payment, the $2,000 or the $5,000, depending on it. Well, you're going to be signing a contract. With me, I'm going to have to send it to you. You send it back. You wire the money to them. You don't wire it to me. But you wire your 2000 to them. And just like a normal procedure. And then your 10 or 20%. All that. So we're in the broker game. 
If you're a real estate agent in the Dominican Republic and want to come play with the big boys, I suggest you hit me up. All right. It's going down. It's going down. Taking no prisoners. So now it's that the same site. Yeah, exactly. I wish I had more to show you, but I see their website is lacking. I, if I wouldn't have messed up that link, I will do this one last thing and then I'll let it go. Because actually what I'm doing is not logging into my account. I was just using a, a pseudo account. So I guess I have to log in officially and see if I can uh, find that email. Then I can actually show you more. I can actually show prices because I don't even know the prices. I didn't even go over it today. They just said they're going to send me all the brochures, send me some videos. And I said, I'm going to talk about it tonight. Let's see what happens. Right. I'm going to talk about it. No, 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 no. Tonight. Oh, come on. And now I can't. It's like a bummer. It really is. No, it's, we don't need to do that. Just go on into this. I'm bummed out now because I thought it was going to be real, real cool that we talked about. Because I know the cheap, the cheapest thing I saw, I think, was 143 or 154 on the board. And what I like about it is at Oasis Bay, which is out by Connor Rock, they actually did what we talk about. They actually put on there uh, ocean view pool view, garden view. So you know exactly what you'll be able to do. They do not have ocean front because I asked, right? They do not have ocean front. And so I thought it would be pretty cool. Yeah, it's not here, man. I, I, I don't know what happened to it. I lost it. This is ridiculous. This pisses me off. This is, this is, uh, I need to sign something. This is crazy. Where did it go? Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe I items and junk email will be permanently deleted after 10 days. OK, it's not that. Yeah, it looks like I can't find it. So I'm going to have to tell them to send me another email. So we'll be talking about it on Friday. Also, um, that's another way, another step to get involved. So, for instance, I'm earning commissions if somebody signs up officially buy some property, I earn commissions, right? Because I'm going to be a broker now. These are steps you take to earn passive income or extra income. In this case, you got to actually work for it. But you get percentage of whatever you sell. So if you sell millions of dollars worth of stuff and you get a percentage, well, 2% could be 20,000. 3% could be 30,000 over a million, right? It. All I'm saying is that adds up. Because it's easy if you sell 10 units, that's 1.5 million. You should have a check coming for, let's say it's 3%. It's higher than that, actually. But let's say it is. And, uh, you know, you'll be at damn near 4.45,000, right? For something you love doing and what you were doing anyhow for the last four years. Come on now. Let's talk about that. So it's something we already do. So now I'm just getting paid proper and the guys are upscale that's what i like too remember i always told you about investing if you're going to invest in something you might as well invest in something upper you know upscale luxury because it appreciates faster so victor marrero made his choice at, since we're talking about connor rock at galaxy why galaxy because it's close to hard rock some people may even have ocean views but they're making that building special so since it's special, it increases the value and his value increases faster than most of the other properties. So his two bedroom unit that he purchased for 230, 231 is probably in the 400,000s right now. So, and then the person that has a two bedroom at Kana Rock Studios, they're simply trying to sell theirs for 175,000. Big difference. Huge difference. So one has damn near $200,000 equity and another only has damn near 100 or less than that, actually. It's more like 80. So or 80 or 70, quite frankly. So that's the difference with upscale real estate. Like I told you guys before, it appreciates faster. And so therefore, that's why upscale luxury matters. 
I know it costs more, but that's the game, ladies and gentlemen. Don't hate the players. Hate the game. So we give you the tools you need to invest so you understand what you need. That's why you don't want to miss the Punta Cana Investors Forum. All right? You don't want to miss it. May 13th is a Monday, but if you come to the music festival and sign up and buy a ticket for $1 more under the music festival ticket order, for $1 more, you might as well stay the 13th, 14th, and 15th. We will be going over to the Vivantia offices, about two offices at Central Park. Their office is at Central Park. You're probably going to meet Mr. Astacio this time because his office is in the same building as... Vivantia. So this is going to be very, very in, 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 interesting, right? Yeah, I can't find this is this is interesting. We got to we got to talk about this. This is this is not good. I don't really like this that much because I need to find out how much these things cost. Like I said, I saw one hundred fifty four thousand and I think it's a one bedroom, though. And I, I'm pretty sure I, I wish I had it. I'm sorry. I thought I was going to show this tonight and I can't. Let me go see what it says under brokers. And I got a sign. I, I didn't sign. It was on DocuSign. So that's the other thing. I'm like, wait, I didn't even get to sign up. This is crazy. Crazy. But again, I'm going to end this tonight because I've been, a, it, it's been a long uh, 10 days. So now if anybody's watching, you want to be a sponsor for the, it's going to be at about two. That's right. We're looking for sponsors, ladies and gentlemen, for the music festival. The SSN Lifestyle Punta Cana Music Festival. You go to ssnlifestyle.com and get your tickets today. I'm going to end this right now. I know it's only an hour and a half or so, but I've got to end it. Make sure you smash the like button so the YouTube guys know that we're in the house. And if you like what we're talking about, please subscribe to the channel. Click the all notification bell. Come back and join us on Friday when the chat room is open to everybody. On Wednesdays, the wealthy Wednesday night live stream, only members with the icon can be in the chat room. Everybody can watch. Everybody can smash the like button. But not everybody can be in the chat room. All right. So let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Stay motivated. Keep your chins up. Make sure nobody stops you from doing anything. No barriers to entry. And with all that said, keep your head up. And what else do we have to do so you stay young at heart, get some walks in? You're going to also make sure that you keep moving. And like I said, SSN Nation takeover. And it's going to be the mic drop. And I'm out.